So I wasn't quite thrilled enough with the power level on my old air hammer, or as I refer to them, pneumatic assault hammer. So what do I do? I go out and randomly impulse buy this. This is the Chicago Pneumatic 717, not to be confused with Central Pneumatic, which is of course the Harbor Freight house brand of tools. These things are ultra high quality. Uh, pretty much most of their lineup is. This one's made in Japan. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. You know, it's like that giant one inch drive impact wrench I bought last fall and made a video about. Don't need it every day, but when you need it, you really need it. We've got a stuck part on this tractor that I want to take this and fire it up with. So, um, a couple notes on these. One, they take specialty chisels much larger than a regular air hammer. You have to buy them uh, separately from a, like a real tool distributor. If you go to your local big box store, they won't have anything like it. And also, people online, if you look at the Amazon reviews for this thing, it'll completely like destroy your arm, and there's people that have posted pictures of like scars and missing chunks of flesh. So when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, that's the one I want, because my current one, it's held up decently over the years, but I don't think it would break your skin if you put it to it and pulled the trigger. So yeah, flesh destroying awesomeness. These are the chisels, they've got a 498 thousandths, they're basically just a little under a half inch shank. I bought a whole variety of them here pretty cheap. We got everything from this one, which is completely flat, to this one, which I think is used for cutting metal. Then we got a couple of regular chisels, a stabby McStab face thing here, something that shape. Hey, driver. Yeah, and whatever the hell this thing is. So let's try and cut some stuff with it first. And as we all know, with anything like this, if you over oil it, uh, a little oil blows out. If you under oil it, then stuff gets torn up, so. <laughs> Dude, it shakes my head. Like when I, my vision blurs. It's pretty amazing. Oh, freak, yes. <laughs> ah, went too deep. That, that works. All right, so we got this clutch thing on the back of an engine thing out of that tractor. So, doesn't want to come off, probably hasn't moved since uh, left in Eastern Bloc country in the 90s. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, right. Can you put it through here? Oh, Steven, yes! catch part of this. Oh yeah! It's out. I got it. Alright. It's all you, man. Dude, friggin' work! For YouTube, we tried prying on that, we tried cussing at it, just wouldn't come out. And we got this thing, hammers right off. So I'm really quite pleased with my new tool. And when you run it, you literally like your vision, instead of being steady, is going like this. I've never experienced that with an air tool before. This thing has an obscene amount of power behind it and um, feels exceptionally well made. So definitely not the kind of thing you need every day, but when you got a thing of a jigger stuck to your doohickey or you know you gotta slice through the bottom of a garbage can or something, then um, it's it's the tool for the job. So it's just like with the one inch air ham air impact rather, probably won't need it that much, but when you need it, really need it. So glad to have this thing here. Very impressed with its performance. Thanks for watching. Sounds so cool.